Today I'm touring one of Timnath, Colorado's premier neighborhoods, Saratoga Falls at Kitchell Lake. This community is just about 10 minutes east of Fort Collins and it's a really lovely area so I'm excited to show you. If you are new to this channel, my name is Ellie Cates. I'm a realtor serving Fort Collins and all of Northern Colorado. If you want to see more community tours, property tours, and all things real estate in Northern Colorado, please subscribe. And if I can help you buy or sell real estate in the area, please don't hesitate to reach out. really nice if you kind of prefer more of a quiet neighborhood versus the hustle and bustle of Fort Collins but it still has close proximity to Fort Collins and the surrounding town so you'll have all the shopping you need um, in Fort Collins there's also um, Sentara the outlets in Loveland which is just 20 minutes away but in Timnath there is a Costco and Walmart just down the street so um, there's also some fast food options as well, but Timnath is very much still growing and I don't think it'll be quiet forever because there is a lot of um, projections for this town, but it's kind of a nice balance. This is also in Larimer County, which is, it has one of the best school districts in Colorado, which is Poudre School District. And this neighborhood is actually right by um, Timnath and Middle High School. It was just built in the fall of 2022. And um, right next to that on the other side of it is the Poudre School District um, uh, uh, Athletic Center. So they have football, soccer, lacrosse, and track and field events all year round. So it's a great area if you, are, if you have a family. So homes started to be constructed here in 2007, but it didn't really take off until about 2017. So this is very much a newer neighborhood and there are still two current active builders here, which include Richmond American Homes starting at 879,000 and then Truemark Homes starting at um, 794,000. And just south on the other side of Prospect Road, there are some land lots available, which are um, right next to this lake. The lake there is called Dead Man Lake. Hopefully no one died there. I don't know the official background of, of that, but um, those uh, are, are quite nice too. And then there are there's also lots at Kitchell Lake that the developers still own. So I don't know when they will be released, but those are going to be really prime lots someday. So I'm standing by what makes this community so special and that is Kitchell Lake. So this lake is just over 50 acres. Um, it does not allow motorized boats. So if that is something you're interested in, you could go to Timnath Reservoir, which is just south of here. Um, but you can paddleboard, kayak, and walk your dog along the trails um, surrounding it. So also some other amenities to mention are hiking and biking trails throughout the community. There are ponds and um, there will be a clubhouse and a pool going in, but I don't know the estimated completion date yet. Something you should be aware of if you are choosing to live in this community is there is a non-potable water charge. So that varies from about $485 to $585 a year, depending on how large your lot is. So that, that water is used to water your yard. Um, the builders have said that it does in the long run give you about a 10% reduction of what you would have paid for water. Um, and there's also a $1,200 a year Metro District fee. So this is in a Metro District, although there's no HOA here. So if you want more information on that, let me know. But um, that just kind of brings your property taxes to be somewhere around $9,000 to $11,000 a year. So what I really love about this neighborhood is the fact that there have been so many builders here and it definitely doesn't feel like very cookie cutter like some new construction neighborhoods feel. Um, there's a lot of variance in style of homes. Um, there's Tuscan inspired homes. There's very modern homes and just a, a little bit of everything. So that's quite nice. And also, um, like I mentioned, you know, there are ponds, trails going throughout it. 
And then the way this community is situated, um, you have some pretty epic views of the mountains. So if you can see behind me, it's, I know it's a cloudy day, but um, it's, it's really pretty breathtaking. So let's talk about the demographics a little bit of Timnath. So the median age is 35 years old and it is a very highly educated population. So about 69% of adults here have at least a bachelor's degree. And um, it's also, the average salary is higher than most places in Colorado. So the median salary of households is 156,000. And it is a very family friendly place to live. Um, about, it's 93% of households are family households. So 60.5% of which have children. And if you are looking for diversity, this is not your best option. 92% um, of people in Timnath are Caucasian and um, you are going to need a car here uh, because it's not very bike friendly or um, doesn't have a great walk score. So keep those things in mind. As I mentioned earlier, this area is really expanding a lot and it's quickly becoming one of the best places to live in northern Colorado. So if you have any questions about this community or any other communities in the area, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much for watching this community tour. I will leave my contact information above, also below, and feel free to reach out if I can help you with any real estate needs in northern Colorado. Till next time.